Patients with cancer are at a higher risk for venous thromboembolism, VTE, and patients with cancer-associated VTE are at greater risk for recurrent events as well as bleeding complications. Current guidelines recommend treatment with anticoagulants for six months after a VTE event, but after that time, there's no guidance for how long to treat patients. Among patients with active cancer and VTE can extended anticoagulation treatment with a reduced dose of an anticoagulant prevent recurrent thromboembolic events and decrease bleeding? The APCAT study was an international prospective double-blind non-inferiority trial. Patients with active cancer and proximal deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, and pulmonary embolism, or PE, were randomly assigned in a one-to-one -one ratio to receive oral apixaban at a reduced or full dose twice daily for 12 months. The primary outcome, assessed in a non-inferiority analysis, was centrally adjudicated fatal or non-fatal VTE. The key secondary outcome, assessed in a superiority analysis, was clinically relevant bleeding. A total of 866 patients were assigned to the reduced dose group and 900 patients were assigned to the full dose group. The median duration of treatment was 11.8 months. Recurrent VTE occurred in 2.1% of patients in the reduced dose group and 2.8% in the full dose group. Clinically relevant bleeding occurred in 12.1% of patients in the reduced dose group and 15.6% in the full dose group. Major bleeding occurred in 2.9% of patients in the reduced dose group and 4.3% in the full dose group. Mortality was 17.7% in the reduced dose group and 19.6% in the full dose group. The APCAT study showed that extended anticoagulation with reduced dose apixaban was not inferior to full dose apixaban for the prevention of recurrent VTE in patients with active cancer and significantly reduced clinically relevant bleeding.